Hello Stampers, my name is Linda Bettinger and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, this is a little shabby chic uh, card and uh, I'll bring it up a little bit so you can see the detail. It says, especially for you and then it's got this pretty tag on it and a little embossed piece and then I stamped the rim of the card and on the inside, very simple, it just has uh, a little bit of uh, sponge around the edge and a little stamped image on the inside. Uh, a very simple card to make. Let me tell you about the stamp sets that I'm using. I'm using Botanical Bliss, which is a clear mount, sorry about the glare there, a clear mount stamp uh, which means it is red rubber and the ones the um, the stamp set I'm um, stamps I'm using from this is I'm using this little floral flourish down here I'm using the especially for you and I'm using this little flower here on my card this one comes with a die set this die set is absolutely gorgeous let me just show it to you in the catalog so you can see what it is we're looking at. In the catalog, I haven't gotten over to get my catalog spiral bound yet. It's driving me crazy. Um, so on page 20 of the catalog is this set. It's called Botanical Bliss. And if you get the stamps and the die set together, you save 10%. And uh, it's absolutely a gorgeous set. There's this flower, uh, a leaf flourish, uh, a little flower flourish, happy birthday especially for you, best wishes friend to from this cute little bird and uh, another uh, flower kind of image. And uh, it makes these wonderful tag toppers here or you can cut out the whole thing um, and uh, get it to be um, just an image that you put on your card. And I thought it was just gorgeous and I've been dying to work with it. So uh, it's on page 20 in the catalog. So uh, in the stand, in the dies here, I am using this piece, which makes some lovely little, and I'll show you what it makes, these pretty little leaf um, sprigs. And boy, can I see using that for a lot of things. I love making um, uh, flowers, smaller flowers with lots of leaves poking out all over. And I can tell that I'm going to be able to use this die set to do that. Isn't that just great? These I made out of uh, old olive and I used them on this card. Then it also comes with these dies. This is the rose die cuts out the rows and a couple of leaves. This one is the bird die that I used on this card. And then there is this shape, which is kind of a stylized flower um, that cuts out the top of a tag that has this image on the top of it. So this is my first working with this. And as I learn more about it, I'll make sure I get some videos posted that tells you how all of these pieces work. So I've already cut out my pieces here. So let me set this material aside. And what we need to make this card is we need, I used a very vanilla base, eight and a half by uh, five and a half, scored and folded at four and a quarter. And then I have a piece of old olive and this piece measures three inches by four and three quarters. Then I have a little piece of vanilla of this old olive scrap and that was to cut out these couple of little leaf uh, flourishes here. And then we need another piece of very vanilla. This is kind of a large piece, but what you're going to do is end up cutting out your um, your birds here and I just wasn't sure how wide it needed to be so I used a much larger piece than I needed and this cuts out absolutely like butter and I have been using that technique 
where you put the uh, image down and then you put it blade up and you cut it uh, you use washi tape to hold it in place and you do your cutting blades up and I will tell you that I'm getting sold on this technique it cuts everything absolutely just like butter and so this came out absolutely gorgeous and I'll show you what I did to trim that down now on this one what I'm using is the dynamic embossing folder that is the leaf uh, flourish or the leaf images here and I've already done my piece here that I've run through and so this is all ready to go so what we have to do is stamp our images around here cut this piece out that makes it a tag and color in this and I'm using my blends uh, my Stampin' Blends to make those uh, those images. So let me set some of this stuff apart here and put down um, some scratch paper and uh, let's just get started here. So what I used to do my coloring is I did pumpkin pie for the feet and the beak of the bird. Then I used bronze for the wood pieces here um, that made the branches. Then I used old olive dark and light to put a two-tone effect on the little leaves in this cutout. And then on the bird I did light and dark pool party uh, to give the bird kind of a two-tone look. I think you can see that there and then I just dotted I didn't like him without any eyes so I dotted with my m black marker which now we can get separate from everything else you can just get the black marker separate which is wonderful and so I gave him a little bit of an eye now um, and then there's some additional stamping to do but I want to start with the coloring here and um, uh, so I'm going to speed up the coloring so that it's not so tedious to watch watch uh, but I'm going to go ahead and color in the pieces of uh, of this before I trim it out Okay, there is my coloring done of my branches and leaves on my tag and uh, I think I got everything I keep finding another little spot that I missed <laughs> and so I will touch up just it's funny when you look at it from different angles you see a little spot of vanilla that you might have missed here or there uh, I'm sure that's pretty close. All right, so there we go. The next thing I'm going to do is to bring up my trimmer and um, depending on how straight you put this on your uh, card when you cut it uh, dictates uh, about what will be straight to cut the tag. And what I have found is that I can get my trimmer blade sort of right in that spot that comes down that's cut and then once I have that on here then I can cut that straight down now then on the other side I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to set my blade set this right in the middle of the cutting channel where the cutting channel should be and then move my blade into place and you can feel that it's moving and when it comes up against something that isn't uh, isn't moving and so um, here I can set this up to cut pretty much straight 
down this piece. There we go. All right. So um, that's how you trim out this, at least this one, on here. And then because it isn't straight, I didn't put this on here straight, then my, my bottom isn't straight either. And I want this to be, let me measure that to make absolutely sure. On this one, I measured this to be about four inches. And on this one, I might like a little bit more of a border top to bottom. So I'll probably cut this down a little bit shorter, maybe three and seven eighths. So I cut that off a little bit. And while that looks fairly stunted, I think when it sits on the card, it will be a little bit more centered. So um, it's amazing how short they have to be once you get going here. Now, if I were doing this where I was sticking it in a pocket, I might leave it longer. So uh, I have this piece now all colored and I have my two leaf flourishes and I didn't do anything fancy with putting these on. I just used a little bit of snail on a couple of the leaves here um, coming across this little flourish and then took the excess glue off of the leaves and I put one in place going across the tag this way then uh, I did, let me do my stamping before I get too much further here. And this stamp says, especially for you. And I'm going to put that stamp right here in the center on this card. And I'll use the grid paper to help me get it lined up so that it's pretty straight on here. And I did just use my Memento tuxedo black ink to do this stamping. So I've got my especially for you here and I'll stamp it once here. Yes, and I can see I've got some um, some ink along the bottom edge here and I don't want that. So I'll clean up that edge and then put my especially for you right here in the center. There we go. And that's all the inking I'm going to do on this. And I think this would make lovely note cards as well. Now I'm going to put a little glue on this other little leaf flourish here. And I'm talking about a very small amount of glue and putting this across the bottom here on my little tag. And then I will use my snips to trim off the excess here. There we go. So there we have our tag completed. Isn't that just pretty? I, I'm very taken with this whole idea and I can see that this leaf flourish could actually be put down just a little bit further and I think I'm going to make that adjustment here with this leaf flourish to come down just a little bit so that it's a little bit makes a little bit more sense and I'll erase this glue from here. I've got my regular glue erasers in another room because I had a card class on Saturday and I still haven't recaptured everything. So there we go. That looks pretty good. And I can wipe away any extra glue. Okay. So there's my tag. And so this is going to go here on this and you can see the difference between having the tag a little shorter and a little bit more centered on this page. And I think I'm gonna like that better. Okay, so what I've done is using soft suede ink, I have 
done a little bit of um, just sponging around the edge of my green embossed piece here. And I think that's going to make it a little bit more consistent with the card. So this, I, uh, um, I'll, I'm going to need this in again in a minute, but I need to do some other stamping first. I think this can just be attached to this and then this whole panel will be raised on dimensionals. So I'm just going to add some glue to the back, some snail, to the back of this. And then I'm going to put little dabs of snail on my birds and my various leaves here and around the arch at the top. Take off any of the excess glue and center this on this card. Very good. Here and erase any of that excess glue. I just think it's such a pretty image. I just love these birds. I fell in love with them the first time I opened the catalog. Um, it's not on there very straight as I look at this. So I'm going to have to make a slight adjustment this way. And there, that's a little bit better. Okay, so now I'm going to set that aside and we're going to work on our card base here. And what I've done here is I mounted a couple more stamps this is the little flower for flourish from this stamp set here. And then I have this floral image. And what I did was I stamped this one first in Old Olive and I did some stamping off and it still came out pretty dark. So I'm going to stamp off a couple times here on this one and see if I can change the nature of this because I really wanted a fairly faint image on this. So it looks like the way to do that is to stamp off twice. Or more. <laughs> and I'm just stamping around the edge of the card and you can do it going both directions here and putting it down to the side as well. And the idea is to get kind of a faint image here because there's the panel that's going to sit in the middle. So there's no reason to stamp the center of this. Um, but uh, I think that um, getting this image on here just around the edge is going to be fairly attractive. And I got one darker image here and I think that's okay. I've got some darker and some lighter. And then on this one, what I did was I took my um, marker. This one is from the In Colors. This one is the Grapefruit Fruit Grove marker and I'm using the thicker end here. And what I'm doing is only putting the Grapefruit Grove on this little flower because that's all I wanted. I didn't want the whole image because I've got all those other leaves. Then I stamped off once and then stamped very lightly on this card to get a little bit of that orange. And actually it's pretty amazing picking up the color of the beak of the birds. Um, it doesn't take much. Just a little image here in the in the grapefruit grove and I have just colored this one flower and then stamped off and then put images around the edge of the card here. Okay, there we go. I've got nice faint image on the edge there. Now I'm just going to go around the edge. And then 
And with mostly a dry sponge, I just wanted to add sort of a little dusting of this soft suede around the edges of this card. Just to add a little bit of aging. Then on the inside, what I did on this one is I put a couple of those images down here on the bottom in Old Olive, stamping off once, and then I put a couple of images down here, and I think I'm going to make it three, and then I did the same thing with this little flower piece here, and stamp off, and then stamp a couple of, of those little orange images here in the corner. There we go. Very good. So that's what we have. Now I'm going to put my ink away here and we're ready to put this card together. So this piece, this is a really a very simple card and Basically, what we've done is make our own uh, background here, and I'm going to put this up on dimensionals. Here on our card. And there we go. That is the project for today. So we have uh, this especially for you. I think it's lovely. Um, I should have paid more attention. I think that would be better if this were lighter. Every time I've done this, I make it lighter and lighter. <laughs> and um, now you could ab you could absolutely avoid the the uh, the sponging around the edges but I kind of like the aged look that it kind of gave it. So that is the card for today. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. Um, and you can order any of the material that you see here right on my, on my website, www.albettinger.stampinup.net. And um, let's see, the prize draw for this month is the Sitting Pretty uh, bundle. Okay, here is the Sitting Pretty bundle, which is the prize draw for this month. It's this stamp set and then this die set down here that cuts out almost all of the images up here along with a bonus bench that it cuts out here. And so uh, I'll be working with this stamp set um, before the month is out to give you some ideas of what you can do with this. So um, that's it for me. Um, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator and or you could join my team. Um, and if you're thinking of joining Stampin' Up! I'd love to talk to you about it. There's ways to do it where you have uh, longer time periods to meet your minimums and we're coming up on one right now. And I like to walk people through the process so that you make the best decision for yourself that you can. And um, I'd be thrilled to have people, more people on my team. So uh, thanks again for stopping by and I'll be back soon with more projects and more cards. Bye.